So why don't we raise this up to like, I don't know, uh, 15 feet. And there you have it. This is how you would typically have a mansard roof. And of course, some of the reasons people use this type of roof is to have additional space in the attic, sometimes an entire floor. And a lot of times you'll also have like dormer windows popping out of the sides of these types of roof, which is something I'd like to cover on the channel shortly. So uh, maybe in the next video, I'll talk about dormer roof and how you could have uh, those popping out the front of this type of roof and so on and so forth. But typically this is how uh, the mansard or combination roof would look and how you would construct this in AutoCAD architecture. Now let's take a look at mansard roof and this type is also known as combination roof. Typically the mansard roof would have a double slope or two pitch roof on all four sides and AutoCAD would have provided a much easier way for us to do this. And so what we're going to do is to start off with a hip roof just like we have here and that's by default once you use the roof tool. We could go in and edit the edges one by one, but AutoCAD would have given us a simpler route, which would be to change your property here. That would be the shape property from single slope to double slope. And this would apply a double slope to all four faces of the roof. So we're gonna switch it over to that. And below you'll notice that we have some additional properties that popped in and we're gonna use them. So you'll notice that we have a lower slope and an upper slope. Now with the mansard roof, usually the lower slope is much steeper, oftentimes close to vertical, while the upper slope is often a shallow. So like a 30 degree, 22 degrees or something like that. So for the lower slope, we're gonna make it perhaps like 80 degrees or 75. Let's do 75 degrees for this one. And for the upper slope, we're gonna leave it at 22 and a half. I think I like that number there. And uh, let's go to a front view and see what we have. So right now you can see that uh, we kind of have something going on here. I think what we need to do is to raise the height of the upper slope. So the upper slope should be higher. And so we need to raise this above the 10 foot height, which is the plate height, uh, which would be the height of the wall right here. 